How do you know when God wants to do something special in your life? How do you know when he wants to do something that will change your life, that will change your belief system, that will change your future and restore everything that you believe you have lost all over the years? My friends, in this devotional today, I will share with you how you will know that God wants to restore your wasted years and you will also understand what it means when you are waking up early in the morning with a deep desire to pray. The Lord did not create you to live depressed. He did not create you to live worried, stressed out, or even frustrated. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the enemy will use any circumstance that you are going through in your life to get you further away from God. When God really wants to restore you and intend only good things for you and your family. Philippians 4 and verse 4 reminds us, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. So whatever you are going through today, as we get into this devotional and prayer, I want you to remember that the Lord says to rejoice. Forget the situation. Forget the worries. Don't focus on the pain. Don't worry about the wasted years. Don't worry about the things that are not working out, the prayers that you feel as though you are saying over and over. Forget how it looks to you and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in everything you do, in all your ways, acknowledge God first when you wake up in the morning, when you begin your day, when you begin a new venture, when you start something new, when you begin a new job, when you meet a new person, when you try something for the first time, always put God first and He will direct your path. As we get into this devotional, if you want to really see God show up in your life and restore the wasted years, you have to remember that if you put Him first, you will never be last. He wants us to be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplication, make your requests known to God. He intends for you to be joyful. He intends for you to be peaceful, to be content, and to be happy. Take an honest look at your life. Think about it. Is there joy deep down inside, regardless of what you are going through now? Do you get up in the morning excited about your future? Are you enjoying your family and your friends? If not, think about this carefully. What is stealing your joy and causing you to live upset? Friends, joy does not depend on your circumstances. It depends on your will. There are people who have far less than you, but choose to be happier than you. And there are people who have much more than you have physically and materialistically. But guess what? They are also not living the same standard of life where they are even as happy as you are. To rejoice in the Lord always is a choice that you make. It is a decision that you are going to enjoy each day whether your plans work out or whether they don't. I want every listener listening to my voice today to think about the things that you are grateful to God for. And if you want God to restore all your wasted years or what you feel were years that were not so good, I want you to type below, Lord, I am trusting you to take care of my future while I give you thanks for getting me through my past. Again, remember to type below, Lord, I am trusting you to take care of my future while I give you thanks for getting me through my past. Then I invite everyone to click on the like button as we stand in agreement together. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please click on that link below. The Lord wants to do miraculous things in your life, regardless of your past and the things that you have been through. When we choose to be happy, when we choose to rejoice in the Lord, when we choose gratitude instead of complaining, it is a choice that we make. It is a decision that we are going to enjoy every day. Whether our plans work out the way we want or whether they don't, sometimes everything can go wrong and everything that can go wrong will go wrong on some days. 
but when you have one of those days dig your heels in and just go with the flow knowing that god is working all things together for your good sometimes we focus too much on our own timeline we want god to show up when we tell him to show up when he has his own way of making an entrance and turning things around for our good friends refuse to let negative thoughts play in your mind and tune into thoughts of joy thoughts of peace thoughts of happiness thoughts of positivity thoughts that will bring you to a higher level thoughts of victory faith hope and happiness believe that god is in control and always choose to be joyful no matter what you are going through some of us are indeed believing god for big things some of us are believing for a spouse for financial freedom we feel as though we have lost our joy after losing that last job after getting out of that last relationship after losing a loved one close to us we feel as though we have lost our joy and we will never get it back but friends that is a lie from the pit of hell do not believe that you are trapped in your past as long as god woke you up today to hear this message it means he still has a plan for you he still has good things on the horizon whatever you are thinking about don't focus on the negative focus on the lord your god and the fact that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly much more than we could even ask think or even imagine the truth is that we can all look back and see times when we let our guard down and we compromised giving into temptation or not handling a situation the way we should have we know times when we did things that we were not supposed to do we said things that we were not supposed to say we went to places that we were not supposed to go and we did things even though we promised to god that we wouldn't do them again he sees our faults and he understands that we are not perfect he sees the prayers and he hears every word sometimes you may be wondering if he is listening to you you feel as though you are not worthy enough but the lord knows that we are all not worthy and that is why he sent his son jesus to die for our sins because we cannot save ourselves friends it is easy to be defined by one moment in life whether it is a divorce fornication a business that didn't make it a personal failure something that you held yourself to a higher standard you feel as though you lost that job when you didn't need to lose that job you messed up that relationship and you lost that person when you feel as though you could have done something different but friends whatever it may be that negative recording reminds us of what we have done wrong why we're not going to be blessed or accomplish our dreams no matter what we do but in revelation 12 and verse 10 listen to this carefully the enemy is called the accuser of the brethren he would love to convince you to let that one mistake or that one season cause you to live condemned and guilty but that mistake did not cancel god's plan for you you may have failed but you're not a failure that was a moment for a season in your life it doesn't determine your future and it does not change god's plan for you do not let a mistake define you do not let your past define you if you go around wearing a negative label of divorced addict failure a compromiser a liar an abuser whatever your situation may be if you go around and wear these labels you are going to miss the fullness of what god has in store for you regardless of what your past is god was there and he also sees your future the longer you take to let go of the past give it to god and trust him with your future is the longer you delay what god wants to restore in your life other people may also try to define you by your mistakes they will stick those labels on you they will try their best to remind you of the times when you failed the things that you did the many mistakes that happened on your watch the times when you compromised and you didn't measure up let's be honest some people 
will remember your failures more than your victories, despite all the times you succeeded, despite all the times you sacrificed for others and went the extra mile, despite all the times that you honored God and you did the right thing. So when you go through one bad season, when you go through those times when you don't know where else to turn, don't be surprised if people say, God is not going to bless you. Don't listen to them when they ask you, who do you think you are? Turn to them and say, I am a child of the King. I am a son and a daughter of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he will prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. When they say you gave into temptation, or your business failed, or you got divorced, or it's over for you, tell them the Lord is my light and my salvation, in whom shall I fear? Tell them that, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for God is with me. His rod and his staff comforts me. He prepareth a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. He anointeth my head with oil. My cup runneth over. And remind them what the Lord says in Psalm 23, that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You let them know that God has not forgotten about you. When they want to put a label on you, let them know that God will restore your wasted years and there is nothing too big for God. These people do not determine your destiny. They cannot stop what God has ordained for your life. The only person who can stop it is you. If you allow your mistakes to define you, if you wear the labels that people stick on you, if you succumb to the pressures that you feel when things don't work out the way you want and on your timeline, if you believe the lies from the enemy, then these are the things that can keep you from your destiny. When someone keeps bringing up your past mistakes, when they keep bringing up the things that you lost, they may not realize it, but they are working for the accuser. You cannot stop others from putting a negative label on you, but you can take it right off and tell them that you are not defined by your mistakes. Tell them that you are defined by what God says about you. You are forgiven. You are redeemed. You are a chosen generation and your past mistakes are behind you and your failures are in your yesterday. Friends, Lamentations 3 verses 23 reminds us, God's mercies are new every morning. When you wake up at 3 a.m. and you wonder what's going on, why do I feel so confused? Remind yourself that God's mercies are new every morning. It is a brand new day and sometimes all you need to do is touch base with God and begin to pray. Receive that mercy and move on. You're wondering what about the failure? It's in the past. What about that mistake? It is in the past and it is covered by mercy. What about the divorce? The many times that you lied, the compromise, the times that you messed up or blew it. That's over and done. Life is too short to let what happened in the past keep you from the great things that God has in your future and the many things that he wants to restore from those wasted years. Do not listen to the voice of the enemy. Do not listen to the people who come around you with negativity that try to bring up the things that you have done and prevent you from growing in the Lord and with God by your side. In life, we often find ourselves facing moments where we feel so down so sad and so hopeless but friends when we face these times it can be difficult to see beyond the pain to believe that anything good can come from what we have lost yet as believers we have to hold on to a promise that transcends our earthly understanding a promise of restoration by the lord jesus christ restoration is knitted throughout the fabric of all human experience it is the essence of hope the belief that brokenness can be healed and that what is lost can indeed be found again.
Joel 2 verses 25 reminds us, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. This promise echoes throughout ages and it stands with us even today. The journey of restoration begins when we acknowledge our loss and when we look at the pain dead on and trust God with our future. When we hand them over to him, it is in our weakness that his strength is made perfect. But restoration is not just a simple process. It requires us to do something as well. We must be willing to surrender all these hurts, all these disappointments, all these shortcomings to God and trust in his faithfulness to bring beauty from the ashes. This can be hard and it can be painful, but it is a requirement for us to let go of our own plans and desires in order to embrace God's perfect will for our lives. One of the greatest examples of restoration in the Bible is with Job. Many of us keep worrying about the things that we have lost in life and sometimes we feel it is so bad that we cannot tell anyone because they cannot relate. We think what we have done has been so bad that God may just not forgive us. Some of us believe that what we have lost is bigger than what anyone else has lost. That is further from the truth. In the Bible, Job was a man who experienced massive loss, just like some of us today. His wealth, his health, and even his family were taken from him. Yet in the midst of this suffering, he remained faithful to God. He cried out in anguish and he questioned why he was suffering. But through it all, he clung to his faith. And in the end, God restored to Job double all that he had lost. Yes, we may have lost a lot, but God is able to restore double what we have lost. This story of Job serves as a powerful reminder that God is always at work behind the scenes even when we cannot see or understand his plans. He is a God of redemption, a God who can take the broken pieces of our lives and create something beautiful out of them. When we talk about restoration from the hands of God, it encompasses every aspect of our being. So friends, when you think about your past relationships, God can restore in you a relationship that you have never experienced before. When you think about your health, how it might be dwindling, that medical report you received that you cannot tell anyone about, God is able to turn it around and give you a report that is greater than even the doctors can imagine. Our finances may have come and gone, but God is able to give you more in your finances than you can even spend. Your dreams are still there. You are still alive. God can turn things around for your good if only you give them to him wholeheartedly. He is a God of abundance and indeed he longs to pour out his blessings to all of us in ways that we cannot imagine. So as we journey through life and as we say this prayer today together, may we hold fast to the promise of restoration and trust that God is able to turn things around if we give them to him to restore our wasted years. May we trust in God's unfailing love and believe that he is able to do immeasurably more than we can all ask or even imagine. So as we pray today, we can take comfort in knowing that no matter what we may have lost along the way, no matter what we may have gone through, or no matter what we are even going through right now, God is able to restore it and make it brand new. For he is a God of restoration, the God who makes all things beautiful in his time. So friends, we will find strength to press on, the courage to face whatever lies ahead, and the assurance that he who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion. So as we pray, focus on the things in your life that you know are not going too well, but you are trusting God to turn them around for you today. And if you feel led in your heart or in your spirit to give back or support our ministry by being someone who helps us to create these devotionals, create these prayers, to edit these videos for you guys, 
every single morning you may click on the first link in the description below to support us as we move forward together now let us pray heavenly father in this moment of prayer we come before you with humble hearts laying our burdens and all our desires at your feet some of the people listening today have gone through a lot some of them are not able to speak on the things that they have been through for different corners of the world father god people have different issues and sometimes only you can understand the depths of what they have experienced and what they are trusting you with today today we bring each situation before you O oh god regardless of race regardless of our language regardless of where we come from we know that you are the god of restoration the one who makes all things new and we trust in your promise to redeem what has been lost and to open doors of blessings in our lives lord today we confess that there have been times when we have felt lost and even broken times when we have done things that we said we would not do again times when we have done things that we know were wrong when it seemed as though the years were slipping away and even our hopes and dreams were fading but we know that nothing is impossible for you and we know that you love us enough to care for us enough even when we mess up continuously lord we thank you for your grace and your mercy when we wake up sometimes in the morning even at 3 a.m 4 a.m or even 5 a.m some of us wake up so confused we wake up in pain we wake up depressed we wake up anxious not knowing how the day will go where the next dollar will come from if our health will allow us to make it through the day so many issues father god but you see each person's request and you see each person's problem and we know father god that we will cling to the hope that you can restore the years that the locusts have eaten so we ask lord that you will breathe new life into the places of our hearts that have been wounded and are tired heal us O oh lord from the pain of our past and the scars of all our failures help us to let go of all our regrets and all our doubts and help us to embrace the promise of your unfailing love and grace lord you see some of us who are struggling with the past where people have tried to put negative labels on us and helped us to feel lower than we need to be lord we pray for your restoration in these areas today in every era of our lives we place our relationships before you we place our health before you we place our finances before you we place our families before you we place everything that we are working on our businesses our school even our community oh god some of us are struggling with things that we don't even know how to tackle but you are the god who heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds and we ask that you will work miracles of healing of restoration of provision of change in our lives today we lift up to you our loved ones who are hurting and in need of your touch we ask you to bring comfort to the grieving strength to the weak and hope to the despairing restore what we have lost O oh god and make all things new in your perfect timing but not only do we pray for restoration we also ask for new doors of blessings to be opened in each listener's life you are the god who delights in giving good gifts to your children and we trust in your provision and your abundance today lord we ask you to open our eyes to see the opportunities that you have placed before us give us wisdom to discern your will and the courage to step out in faith help us to trust in your guidance and to follow wherever you lead knowing that you have plans to prosper us and not to harm us plans to give us hope and even a future father we surrender all our plans some of us want homes some of us want a new car some of us simply want to get through the month or to be healed from our diseases but we trust that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts so give us the faith to believe that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine and the patience to wait upon your perfect timing as you restore and deliver us lord today we offer up this prayer with our hearts full of gratitude we thank you for everything you have done everything you are doing now and everything that you are about to do and we look to you for your goodness 
for your steadfast love that endures forever. May our lives be a testament to your grace and your mercy. Help us to speak of this prayer and how we received our breakthrough after we trusted in you. May we testify and tell people about the things that you are doing for us even now that will come through in the future and help them to see the good works and glorify you in heaven. Lord, we thank you for everything you are doing even now and we ask that you help us to walk in obedience to your will and trust in your promises to restore the wasted years and only wear labels of victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have made it to the end of this prayer, we thank you so much and we ask you to click on the subscribe button and share this with someone who could use this positive word today. Also remember if you feel the need to donate or support us in creating these videos to reach more people across the world, please click on that first link in the description below and donate whatever you feel led on your heart to donate. Thanks again for tuning into Godly Motivation and we trust that you will have yourself a blessed and a wonderful rest of your day.